All right, I'm gonna be giving you a few homework tips on how to submit your homework throughout this distance learning, just to make it a little more clear for your teachers to read and understand. The first tip is using a pen or a marker. Obviously this is math class, so we do make mistakes and we do erase a lot. So I understand that some of us will wanna continue with a pencil, but we will allow a pen or maybe like a felt tip marker throughout the distance learning process um, because it's a little easier to read. Number two, if you could, you can write your homework on printer paper. Printer paper is a little thicker than your lined paper. And so when you do take a picture, you're not um, getting the background shadow of other light sources. Also, lined paper can be pretty busy. So if you want to use printer paper, we recommend that as well. Number three, it's important to box and circle your answers so that your teachers can clearly see what your final answer is for each problem. So if you wanna use a highlighter or if you wanna box or circle, that is recommended. Number four, some of us have scanners at home and that's the best way to get your homework um, uploaded online because it's the most clear. If you don't have a scanner at home or you just don't have access to it, you can take a picture, but make sure that it is clear. So I recommend being next to like a window or a light source and try to eliminate any shadows. Obviously there are still gonna be shadows in your picture, but if it's too dark of a shadow, try and adjust it so that you aren't, um, so that we can still see your work shown. Also make sure it's focused. If you're taking your pictures on your phone, make sure you click on the screen to help it, your camera focus in on it better. Or if you're taking a picture on your Chromebook, move your assignment closer or farther away um, until your Chromebook adjusts to the paper that it is trying to take a picture of. Also, before you submit, check it and make sure that it's legible. Make sure that you can read it and understand it before you submit it to your teacher. Because if you can't read it and it's very blurry, chances are your teachers aren't gonna be able to read it too. And then the last one is the most important, making sure all of your work is shown. For distance learning, we need to make sure your work is shown because that's the number one way that we're gonna know if you understand the information that was given to you. Here is an example of a homework assignment. Notice that it is clearly written. Notice that the answers were nice and boxed, so you can clearly see what their answer was to each problem. Notice all the work is shown as well. This assignment was written with a felt tip marker, and it was also scanned in with a scanner, so it is really nice and clear. If you have any questions, please make sure that you ask your teacher. Okay, and remember these are just suggestions on how to make your homework a little easier to understand.